Want to see a quick and effective way to name and color code your channels on a Studio Live Series 3 mixer? Well, you're in luck. Hey, it's Richard with Presonas, and here's Jeff Sandstrom from MXU to show us just how easy it is. So I've got my channels just laid out 1 through 32. If I select channel 1, you can see that on the display, it just shows up CH period 1. So I want to hit the settings gear icon to be able to access how to label and name that channel. So if I just select the channel name, I know that channel one in my uh, input list and my tracks and my show file needs to be kick in. So if I just go in, I can easily label kick in. And then the interesting thing about this console is you can select the channel type. So if I click that um, field, I can basically choose between any number of categories keyboards, percussion, strings, guitars, bass, drums. So I know that this is a drum, and I know that the channel type is kick in. So then it will automatically, when I uh, select those things, it'll change my category and my channel name, kick in, kick in. Now I can also uh, color code the channel as well. So for me, I like to have all my drums in red. So I'll just select red as my channel color. And you can see that the select knob changed from the default blue color to red. So I've pre-populated my drum channels. So I just want to select my next drum. And you can see that the channel name is kick out, channel type is kick out, and the color is red. So all of my drums are colored red. And so as I go through, it's just easy to see, just based on what's selected, um, what channel group it belongs to because of the way it's color-coded. And then if I exit out of the, the gear, then any channel that I select, obviously my channel name corresponds to what I created in that setting. As you can see, it's super easy to name a channel, select its type, and assign it a color. It's just another example of how Presonus has the friendliest mixing consoles out there. Special thanks to MXU for this great video series.